three Shakota businesses are going to have to start over from scratch after a fire ripped through their building. Much of the strip mall is a total loss. News on 6's Jaden Brandon is live in Shakota with what's next. Jaden. Craig and Lori, behind me is what's left of the strip mall. There's actually still some smoke rising off of it as we speak. The three businesses that used to be there were a video store, a gym, and a mobile detailing shop. Now, all that's left is the smoldering brick and rubble. Not much is left after a midnight fire on Shakota's West Gentry Avenue. When we got here, flames were just roaring and raving. One store owner, Vicki David of Vicks Mobile Detailing, says seeing the flames was surreal. It was a total loss for us. Um, there's really nothing we can rummage through. She watched as the fire made its way from the video store on one end to her business on the other. When we got here, the fire was blazing at the end to where Vicks was. So at that point, it was just like, oh my goodness is everything was all charred. Not only is it a loss of equipment and product, but a part of her father, Vic, as well. Uh, he worked so hard. The man it was a, just a hard working man. So it's like I say, it's still so surreal to me. It just hurts my feelings so bad because I know daddy worked so hard for it. Another business owner, Tony Broom of Elite Fitness, says nearly all of his equipment is gone too. Going to be quite a loss, I suppose, and we're going to have to wait till insurance goes through everything and figure out and then I suppose the hardest part will be finding another location. Despite the morning's outcome, both Broom and David are hopeful for the future of their businesses. I just want to say thanks for everybody you know, who supported our gym, you know, and uh, I hope that uh, in time we can figure something out and uh, hopefully get a new place and get things back up and running again. Broom tells me they're working to move any elite fitness members over to their other gym location if you fall off for the time being, if they're interested. The Shakota Fire Department is still investigating the cause of the fire. Live in Shakota, Jaden Brannon, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.